All right. <laughs> Here we go with this. Uh, this this is basically just showing uh, what is going on, what I feel about it, and uh, I just watched this, and it is, it is so uh, refreshing to. Uh, see people who are at the level where the, where they can see through this shit. Because there's, there's many layers to it. It's, it's very much a litmus, a litmus test. And it very much reminds me of like uh, Flat Earth's Globe Earth, Round Earth, and uh, the reactions. It, it's it's uh, very similar. And also it's very similar to uh, whenever Trump got elected. And then the people that um, went absolutely psychotic. Uh, quite a few people. And uh, it, it's it's very much like that. It, it's It's almost exactly like that. With the level of uh... Oh you don't agree with me? Oh you're not afraid like me? Well then you're just you're, you're wrong. You're misinformed. I'm seeing this with, with a lot of people. Um, it's interesting. And then like I said. Like. And like I've just told people recently, like I, I just sit back and let people, you know, tell me where they're at, essentially. I mean, that's what, kind of what I've always done. I just let people show, reveal themselves to me. And then we can, we can uh, start from there if they really want to start, but usually people don't. They, they just want to... Uh, keep going around and around in, in the same loop programs in their uh, comfort zones and what they have become complacent with so yeah this is about the coronavirus my corona <laughs> Oh my little viral one, viral one. When you gonna give me a test for Corona? Oh shit! But uh, yes, the the reaction, you know, uh, is something. I put out videos, you know, on prepping uh, and whatnot. It's, it's about prepping your mind first and foremost, getting clear inside, so that you can start to make the fucking connections, people. Yeah, it's all, it's all just, oh my gosh. I mean, for, for us that know what the fuck's going on, like, it's the same fucking thing that's been going on for a while. And yes, like, um, it did, I, I will say that it, it did have that taste of, uh, you know, oh shit. Not even no shit for me, but it's just like, you know, uh, quite a bit of the uh, globe, the, the realms, are, are falling prey to this uh, fear virus. This isn't a fucking, this is, this is a mentality virus and a thought virus. Shout out to ZigZag 
for putting up his video that I, I just appreciate the clarity because it's it's beautiful to to have uh, some people rise up and share and show uh, the inner workings and then you know we're always going to have those people that no you have to fear you're wrong you must fear like me <laughs> and it's like dude obviously I'm not going to you know say anything to snap you out of it unless unless you want to spend a little bit of time then then we can have an engagement and I'll snap you the fuck right out of it I'll shake your shit up But, uh, you probably really don't want that, do you? So, yeah, uh, one thing that he puts out here, this, this your boy, by the way, J. Chris, 444, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, I've been waking up to and seeing quite a bit lately. So, uh, one of the things that he mentioned here was that this was a, uh, memory virus, and absolutely, um, all his mind, so it absolutely comes back down to a direct attack on, uh, the mentality, the, uh, cohesiveness and awareness that is allowed to be uh, perpetuated, essentially. So, uh, there, there's many layers of this, and I can get into... I just recently, as in just fucking tonight, like, uh, saw all the conspiracy theories and everything about all this. And, yeah, it's just it's just the same old, same old. Like, for, for us who, who knows the agenda, uh, where... Where the powers that be, or whatever the fuck you want to term it as, are pushing towards. But there's just a lot of layers and levels of this, and I'm not going to go too deep into it, because there's just no point. E either you ask the questions yourself, and you, f you search for yourself to find the answers for yourself, or you don't, and that's the fucking litmus test. That's... This stuff is an, an, another layer of finding out the people who <laughs> are completely psychotic. And uh, I appreciate the coronavirus. I absolutely appreciate it. Because it's drawing out that last fucking little bit. That's, that's within people, that, that's within some people that do like deep level cleansing and fasting and orin work. And yet there's still that little bit of fear and uh, tightness inside of them they have, that they have not released yet. So this is drawing it out. I'm not going to get into uh, some of the outer manifestations of what's going on here because I just got to say like uh, kind of <laughs> pretty focused so that I, I don't give too much uh, for for people to grab onto. No, no, no! <laughs> uh, fuck. I'm not gonna get into the fucking 5G. I'm not. Which which is not. It's just a fucking label for for. It's a smoke screen. If you don't realize the shit that's going on yet, people, it's uh, smoke and mirrors. 
how they how they label shit, how they bait you into shit, how they give you a problem, and they withhold the fucking solution, and oh hey, here we go, there you go, play right into our hand. Okay, so I'll start this. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, th this is a it's a it's a revealing thing. This coronavirus because it, it by exactly. people's reaction. Um, I did say this already, I believe, but by people's reaction to the virus, uh, you can tell uh, kind of everything about them. <laughs> you know, find out uh, you know what channels they listen to. Uh, you could find um, a find out what, you know, um, how much kind of uh, just regular critical thinking that they've been doing or not been doing, how much uh, listening to the news they've been doing. Um, they, there's a lot of information that comes from that, right? And, uh, you know, I see this whole thing more and more each day as, okay, it's no more than a flu, right? Um, I'm sticking with that. I'm not seeing anything contrary to that. Um, I, I had heard you know, some defenses were like, well, it's aggressive. It's an aggressive flu because uh, there's a higher percentage of four point whatever here, at least in the United States, or three point something or four point something of people dying. But you'd also have to factor in that every uh, flu that um, that comes around in flu season and wipes out, you know, 60,000 people, 20 to 100,000 people every year. Uh, they have vaccines for those flus. So this one does not yet have a vaccine. So the flus don't arrive and we already have the vaccine. They create the vaccine and then, okay. So I see this as more politically driven. Um, I do find it interesting, like uh, throughout this, he keeps mentioning vaccines. So like, once again, there's just layers and levels of this stuff. Uh, you know, if we fall prey to certain ideologies, um, yes, the, the the poison is the panacea, and that's that's the point of a vaccine, is to give you a little bit of a dose of the poison so that your body creates the panacea. But the issue with that is, uh, the poison that they are giving you is a, a specific, it's a s specified poison. And a large group, say, of poisons, say like the flu or a certain kind of sickness. So your body builds up antibodies for this specific kind of illness. And that, that actually leaves you more susceptible towards other strains. And uh, that's not 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 to mention the well all the shit that's going into the vaccines. I don't want to go into too, too much fucking conspiracy bullshit. <laughs> it's not bullshit. Uh, it's conspiring to manifest something for sure. A lot of it's backfiring for sure. But uh, it's still having an effect, and a lot of people, you know, are picking up upon this effect and getting upset about it, and then wanting to fucking throw a fit and go crazy. And that's part of it. You got to come out of that, though. Getting angry or having fear is part of the process, but don't don't get stuck there. Utilize these uh, things; they're they're cues for you. So that you can continue moving. You're supposed to flow and move with it. You're not supposed to get stuck. Within fear. Or within pain. Or within trauma. Or drama. So uh, one of the conspiracy theories that I happened upon was that. Uh, the coronavirus was just kind of a cover-up for the symptoms of uh, 5G exposure. And 
and from what I've experienced uh, directly uh, with my direct experience, personal experience, I could see that. But then also looking at a wider array, it kind of seems like maybe that's not the case. But also, if it is, it's being it's being utilized and, and spread out to uh, further push this this uh, push of uh, putting up these towers. These high frequency towers. Um, everywhere. So my my direct experience with uh, interacting with these frequencies is that it makes my body uh, pretty disoriented and pretty sick. On the get go. In the onset, but then of course people's bodies are going to adapt. So uh, this is this is why I have a certain opinion about the what is called five G is because I have experienced what these frequencies and it's not even five G frequencies. It's very subtle uh, Wi-Fi frequencies. How that affects me. So whenever I'm around, and, and it's not that I am I, I succumb to them. It's just that I am very sensitive to these things, and I uh, pay attention to what my body is telling me that it is uh, picking up on. And then also. Whenever people's bodies are filled with, you know, heavy metals and toxins and aluminum, which which, which is uh, what they pump into the vaccines, that's, that's also going to have an effect upon all this. So these are things just to just keep in mind. I'm not telling you what is or isn't. I'm just saying my my uh, perspective of it and experience. And uh, I'm not saying that I succumb to any of this. I'm just saying on the onset, it doesn't feel too nice. Can I meditate and focus and uh, dissolve it and uh, create barriers and boundaries? Absolutely. And we all do. And this is something that just happens. This is uh, adaptability. The body does it by itself, even if you don't want to... Uh, participate in the awareness of it the body still does it for security longevity and uh, the constant state of homeostasis that it seeks uh, do I think that this thing just hit the scene out of, uh, you know, happen chance. Fuck no. Uh, because I'm not retarded. Mm -hmm. and seeing that, no, this was, uh, you know, obviously it's one of those things that was put on the scene, um, to, Oh no, no. How dare you? How dare you say that? This was, this was created. It was manufactured. It was released. It was it was accidentally released. This this is the whole fucking hoopla and the f fucking scare tactics. This is just scare tactics one hundred and one. Like he keeps saying, like this is very one hundred and one level shit, and uh, it's very interesting to see uh, where people are at with it. It's very telling. Also, like he says, uh, people fearing not just not people not fearing the virus, but fearing fearing the quarantine and the effects of uh, you know the, the bullshit that the government may do. 
Yeah, no, I get that. I fucking get that. that that's... That's something that, that can actually be real, whereas uh, this virus, as you have been told it is, is not real. I'm not saying that it is fake. I'm saying that there's a skew on the story. There's a spin on it. And if you listen to certain people, to certain outlets of information, then you may fall prey to uh, believing. Especially if you watch certain videos. And I, I have had uh, people uh, put me onto certain videos. And right off the onset, it's like, do you not hear the fucking stupid music that's playing in the background? Do you not, like, understand the tonation of the person's voice? That they're slowing down their words? That they are trying to make it more dramatic? Like, the scenery and the imagery. Like, dude, this is Hollywood 101. This is 101 shit. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, like, for those kinds of people, you need to watch this fucking latest, uh... 444. This is for you. So that maybe you can kind of uh, start to dissolve some of your cognitive dissonance. Because it's unfortunate to see in, in people that have woken up a little bit, but then uh, they, they watch certain things and they fall back into fear. So, uh, also, like I mentioned before, with, with the fucking flat earth shit, it's like, I, I see this, uh, I, I've been seeing this more and more, is that, oh, you're just wrong, or, oh, oh, you'll see, or, Oh, I've watched people that I, I thought I respected, but they're just playing it off. And uh, I noticed that there's that certain level of mentality that was with the, uh, you know, flat earth thing, uh, you know, a while back, where uh, the f a lot of the flat earth people just, wanting to show data and show uh, their, their own experience with it. And then the, the people who, who were super fucking offended just threw out uh, poison and garbage and fear. And this is uh, very similar to this. So, uh, if you want to succumb to fear, like, that, that's your choice. Try to take a step, try to take a step back and realize that what you're doing, like, what you're saying to people. Because, uh, you don't, you don't realize what you're doing. You really don't. This isn't a coronavirus. This is a fucking fear virus that you're spreading. Through the mind, you're you're trying to spread thought viruses and a mind virus. Prepare. What the fuck are you talking about? Prepare. Oh, but the people. But the people that are already sick and are already in poor health and. Well, then they're gonna do their thing. Uh, this, this, the level of reality and mentality doesn't have anything to do with them. It has everything to do with you. How do you perceive this? I want to hear how you perceive this. I don't want to hear about, oh, but all these other people, they're going to, oh, and you're, 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 you realize what you're fucking doing. You're projecting outside of you because you're not, there's something inside of you that you're not willing to face. Do, do you get that?
Do you fucking understand that? That's why you're having this fucking weird feeling of, oh, why, why aren't people taking this seriously? Oh, oh. There's that last little bit inside of you that you need to fucking release. Uh, help. Uh, one, extinguish the, the... These don't have to be, right? This isn't... This feels very 101 to me. This feels like... A yep. feel, you, know, you know what I'm saying. This feels 101. Uh, riots and, uh, you know, in, in China and wipes that out, right? We don't hear anything. Nobody's rioting now. There's nobody on the fucking streets. This is the agenda. Took care of that problem. And then, uh, and it's great. Works out great for, uh, you know, uh, uh, the you know, a party here in um, the United States that is looking to uh, make sure that uh, the current president, Trump, is not elected in the next go-around. This is the shit that they're doing. So it works out well because, you know, uh, something like this will shake up an economy, right? Uh, people start worrying about their future when they think that they're going to die. This is what's good. They think they're going to die, guys. They're all like, they think that this is the fucking black plague. You understand, they're they're fighting for toilet paper. It's the most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life. And then you see people... <laughs> he kept mentioning, mentioning the toilet paper thing. I, I don't... I don't understand uh, where that came from or why, why that is happening. But evidently, it, it is happening. Then a little comedic relief that, that he put out there was that, uh, you know, well, if shit ever does really hit the fan, we know that, you know, all the stuff that we we really do need to stock up on will be available because all these other fucking morons are going to be sucking up on stupid shit like fucking toilet paper and paper towels and fucking Kleenexes and hand sanitizer. Or in our in our groups, uh, they just like so fucking weak. They just get pulled right into the thing. Yep. And they're like, "Fucking lock and load," and they're out there and they're grabbing fucking toilet paper. <laughs> this is it. They're doing it. This is the. It's <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah. This has been going on for. This is this is cyclical. Exactly. How are people? How is this even the thing? Um. So and then when you try to talk someone down off the ledge. They get very angry. They must have you at their level of fear. Uh, if they don't, then, uh, you know, they get very upset, yep. very angry. Don't you stop them from fear. And don't you, don't you mm -hmm. not be afraid. You got to down that, down it, bring it down, bring it to <laughs> dial you down your vibrational, you know, get down to their fucking level in this muddy, thick fear and, run amok and go save yourselves and go fucking get toilet paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're looping. They're lock and load. They're fucking looping, guys. <laughs> we are watching people glitch the fuck out. Right yeah, now, exactly. Everywhere. Um, you know, uh, you know I, it's just, I have to, you know, I, I'm the only, uh, in my, in you know, this family, I'm the only one and um, to really kind of like I'm the only one who's following uh, politics and news, right? Uh, Sarah didn't, really doesn't give a fuck. Uh, thank God. And um, the kids, their kids. Uh, okay, to be very, very clear, thank you, John Smithy, for this super chat. He writes, to be very, very clear, you are retarded. Yes, you are retarded. Okay, Smithy, we'll get to you in a second. Thank you, you consistent super chatter. Um, all right, so, uh, <laughs> and where's the applause is behind me? The, the, there we go. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so, um, so, it, so I'm the only, I'm the only means of, like, you know, hey, this is what's going on, this is what's going on kind of thing. So now when it comes to the virus, you know, so the kids look to me for, 
you know, hey, you're the fucking captain of the ship. Uh, what's going to happen here? We just hit an iceberg, right? And then I got to exactly. go, well, look, you're cool. We have, you know, lifeboats and we have, you know, like you got to like kind of, you, look, you fucking prepare, right? You prepare for shit. It doesn't matter. Yes, you wash your hands. I said this on the first one. Yes, you come in, you wash your hands. Don't you do that anyway, you dirty fucking, you just walk into the <laughs> house. And, you know, you don't have to get weird. You're not, you don't have to start scrubbing your forearms and shit. You're not getting ready for surgery. You're just cleaning your hands. You know, do it anyway. And then, what? You don't need to go run out and get toilet paper. The problem <laughs> here is this. The problem here, this is my, this is the problem. I'm up against. So, you're trying to calm people down, right? Because it's really, it's just, for a bunch of reasons. One, for their own fucking health. For God's sakes, you know, the worry. It's just too much. It's way disproportionate. It's way yep. fucking dumb. Um, unless, and I... Never mind the fucking virus. Like, the level of fucking stress and worry, that, that's going to take off years of your fucking life. That's going to that's gonna throw you directly into a state of fight or flight and uh, weaken your immune system. If you have fear and doubt and worry... You weaken yourself. So this is a uh, weakening of the of the mind virus. Explain this to one uh, subscriber. In, unless you've got like, uh, you know, if if you're on heightened fear and you're like, oh, you don't understand. If you're just contributing fear and you're just trying to warn people, it's, it's stupid. Because first of all, everybody already is warned. Everybody. They made up their mind. Exactly. Like, the information's out there. So, if you feel the need to come out and, and be like, oh, hey, you need to fucking prepare people. This is going to get bad. You're perpetuating a certain frequency. Realize this. In my direct experience, I have a... Uh, internally portrayed a vibration of, you know, what I've been talking about, which is seeing uh, all the layers and levels of this stuff. Uh, I saw this well before it ever was a thing. Like, it was pretty obvious what was going to happen. The setup is fucking obvious. The agenda is fucking obvious for some of us. So I just sat back and let people in my surroundings fucking freak out. And uh, just recently now, I have had them them come to me. I, I don't go, go to them about this shit, but they feel they need to come to me for whatever reason. But that reason is because of uh, clarity. So they come to me and, and say, after, after they've already freaked the fuck out and regurgitated all the fucking verbal diarrhea that they fucking soak up. They come to me randomly. It's not random, but they just happen to come to me and, oh yeah, this thing's been blown way out of proportion. Like, it's not, it's not that serious, well, what, what they're saying. Like, oh, that's interesting that you would say that to me, considering what you were just saying a few days ago. Hmm. Multiple people have noticed you know, everyone's getting the same live feed coming through. And unless you've got a Bunsen burner and you're in your fucking basement and you're concocting the fucking cure, uh, shut the fuck up and sit down. All right. Or, or, or then just go to Costco and go, you know, I appreciate people who, who, you know, are, are concerned and they, they have deeper level, uh, healing abilities and gnosis, especially when it comes to the Orin. But... Having worry or doubt inside of you and perpetuating that, that's, that's only going to further this, this fucking disease. This, this is... Any... <sighs> God, this is 101 level shit, people. Any kind of disease that uh, happens outside of you that you're led to believe 
first of all, if you're caught up in it, then you are caught up in the medical industry and you believe, you know, uh, what the medical industry puts out. So you believe a certain level of agenda and uh, you're freaking out because you need that stirred within you so that you can release that. Because that is uh, a... I don't want to use derogatory terms. <laughs> Stupid, fucking moronic, retarded, idiotic. That is a skewed mentality of uh, the actuality of what it is actually going on within the body. you don't recognize the agenda within the medical industry, then you're going to fall prey to what, at least some of the things that they tell you, that you need to do for you, that you need to come to them so that you can really be healthy, so that you can have this thing, the cure, the antidote. This is 101 fucking shit people to be honest it's a little fucking embarrassing to see a lot of people get so caught up in it but I mean it's, it's just very telling I and mean, that's, that's just why I'm, I've been sitting back on it for so long and not saying anything about it and just letting people show me where they are at. And that's, that doesn't mean that they're going to always be there. It just means where they're at currently. So you know, we can work from that. We can see where they're at. We, we can guide them in certain avenues where they, they're going to be more interested in you know, taking the bait. And the bait that we are, you know, <laughs> have on the hook, it's not really a hook. It's the bait of uh, self-realization. To get them to turn inwards instead of being focused so much outwards. That's the fucking key. And that's, that's what is going to happen with, with all this fucking shit. Uh, this coronavirus is uh, a test to see uh, a reaction. Um, there may be one more before the big one. The big when I say big one, I mean big fear. <laughs> the big fear, or maybe next, but it's going to be nuclear. And whenever that happens, that's the cue for whenever. It's over. It is a done deal. And we are finally going to step out into the light. You don't need to take my word for anything. You don't, you don't even really need to understand or understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Because it's going to happen. And you're going to see the true, pure beings come out into the light and showcase... All I gotta say is, Edgar Casey, you are right about Russia. Wait and see. <laughs> so. I drew this card, and I want to share it. A lot of good imagery there within that card. 
been experiencing a lot of energies of betrayal lately. Uh, not just so much personally, but also collectively uh, on a lot of levels. A lot of different platforms. Uh, seeing a certain energy rise up. Um, a saving grace, if you will. To remind people what they are doing to themselves and each other. Did I get it? Did I get it? Okay, here we go. Ten of Swords. Ruin. The Egyptian god Osiris was murdered by his brother, the dog-headed Set. After a long-standing rivalry, in this scene, Set thrusts sword after sword into the body of his brother who lies with hands bound as the waters of the Nile lap at his ankles. Behind them, in the red light of the sun, stands the goddess Isis. As the sun sets on her husband's life, she raises her arms in supplication, and the powers that will eventually resurrect him Actual physical death is rarely described by the Ten of Swords. More likely, it marks the end of a deeply troubled situation or idea. Or a multitude of problems striking all at once. Wherever you feared... Whatever you feared most may have come to pass, leaving your life in ruins. As painful as this destruction may be, it is absolutely necessary. Turn the page. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. Come to terms with the reality of the situation and find the strength to see yourself through this time. Surrender and welcome the opportunity to end a cycle of pain and step into a better future. The worst is over. Things can only improve. Like Osiris, you can rise again, renewed and wiser for your experience. And that's like the card, basically, of uh, you know, spring and uh, rebirth. And the resurrection, the rejuvenation of the life, the uh, the blood, the sap of the earth coming back. Um, into fruition and uh, as a reflection, mirroring the love that is being felt on... Uh, multitude of levels. The seasons are not only changing because of uh, maybe what you've been led to believe why they are, but uh, we are the weather men and the weather women. The seasons, the times are changing because we are changing. 
to choose wisely how you want to change, how you want to choose, how you want to direct your flow and your awareness, where that is going into. So first, just like with pranayama, we have to take that breath out, get clear first. Then we can breathe in a fresh breath, a breath of fresh, fresh ass prana. And get clear on the direction that we are heading towards because that is what we do in every moment, every every little moment of the mind that you have, every little moment of thought that you have, you are directing your compass, your ship. You are steering your ship towards a certain current. So it's up to you how you choose to flow or to fear or to eddy your way into a stagnation. Utilize emotion and energy to help guide you into a more clearer flow. That's all. That's, that's what it's all about. Clearer flow, clearer continuity and connectivity. That's why we out here. Peace.